And so just in closing then, in my last um, uh, minute and a half, I just want to, um, to draw your attention to, the, to go back to C.S. Lewis, so we talked about this man, if he was merely a man and said the sort of things that Jesus says, cannot be simply a mere result. He cannot be a mere apostle. He cannot be a great human teacher. He has not left that option open to us. He did not intend to. And I contend that if Jesus really is the, the Christ, if he really is the Messiah, if he really is the son of man of the book of Daniel, if he really is who he claimed to be, and he really is the one who had authority to lay his life down and authority to take it up again, then he is the, he is the man uh, who has paid our penalty in full. He is fully God, fully man. He has absorbed the fullness of divine wrath in our stead upon the cross. He has drunk the, the cup of divine wrath such that when he cries out, Tete, let's die upon the cross, it is, it is accomplished, it is finished. It's as though he has turned over that cup and not one drop has fallen out. For he has consumed the fullness of divine wrath in our stead. Such that if we trust ourselves to, to Christ, if we throw ourselves at the foot of the cross and trust in him and repent of our sin, turning from our sin and trusting only in Christ, not in our own works of righteousness. We can have eternal fellowship with God. We can be reconciled to a holy God. We can enjoy eternal fellowship with Christ because Muhammad cannot save you, but Jesus can. Thank you.